welcome to our fourth episode of Sometimes It's a Mess with Lesoho Mbshe. And today we have a guest speaker, an award-winning entrepreneur and fashion designer, a founder and creative of Open Burn Africa. She is a multi-passionate individual who is driven to explore art and design to a deeper understanding of the human nature. Her name is Natasha Moliko and she will be unfolding her experiences with how she's maneuvering around not having power. She's always struggled with not having power way beyond the load shedding was this bad. And this makes you wonder why are others doing so amazing and yet we are on the same boat. You know, we are all struggling with power. We are all struggling with the substation or we Others don't have power at all and they they use um solar panels and they work at a certain time. And yet there are still people who are pushing themselves beyond beyond this this mess that we are in. It makes you wonder, is it is it mindset? Is it the passion that is driving them? Is it the fear of mediocrity? Is one of the things that drive me to do some of the things that I do that I'm afraid of just being a regular human being getting by and not exploring the things that I think I'm capable of, you know. I might not do it, do them to a certain extent, but I always thrive to go to 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 areas where I think I think I can do it and I do it anyway. Whether I fail, whether I leave it halfway or whatever the case may be, but I always strive to go beyond the things be beyond things that I'm, you know um are, are within my reach i i want extra things i'm i'm that girl i want you know just go the other side and see what will happen and that's what drives me i want to see what's going to happen on the other side and i just don't want to go by and do what everybody else is doing or how they are doing it you know just the fear of being mediocre it it it, it stresses me out and so we will have Natasha Tesh, as I call her. She will be sharing the behind the scenes of um her behind the scenes of her struggles with uh, not having power. And I trust uh we will learn a thing or two. For those who don't know what load shedding is, so it's it's basically taking turns with power. <laughs> so yeah, basically rachinchis and agam takasi. Um, it's taking turns with power to avoid excessive load on the generating plant. So if there is if there's power in in a certain area, you must know that another area doesn't have power depending on the stages. You know, so because there is there is there is demand for electricity. The demand for electricity exceeds the available supply. So from depending on the stage from 10 up until 12 if we in our area we don't have power it means another area has power so when it comes back another area it's shut off there's no power there so it's it's it that's load shedding in a nutshell like we are just taking turns with power because you know there isn't much supply that is um the the demand is so much and the supply is so little I don't know what's going to happen in the future, but that is what's happening right now. That is load shedding. And the Batong, I hear other places don't experience load shedding, no network problems. Kuri, kuri, kiss of life. Because it means when you don't have power, when, when there's load shedding, there's nothing that is working. Um, there's, there's, you can't go online. You can't, can't submit anything online. You can't... Uh, go into your online classes because that's what I'm experiencing at the moment. I'm 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 experiencing uh because I'm I, I do a lot of my online classes. When the stage six or depending on whatever stage, as long as there isn't power around that there isn't there's low shading around that time, I can't do anything. My life is on hold. Um it's either I, I, I even if I wanted to catch I'd catch up on my admin, I do a lot of my admin online. I do a lot of my admin go can if I need to log in and I update my proposals or my business plan or business model whatever but most of my things at this time oh this online thing is dangerous guys now that we don't have power and I hear there's like artificial intelligence coming in with a bang it's coming in a country where we don't guys 
but yeah that is the reality of our lives and with myself i i've been i struggle with power beyond load shedding um we are we, we are struggling with the substation the substation can die out or bomb or cable theft and it can go for for almost like three weeks without power without we can go for three weeks without power so that is the reality that we are living in but other people they say uh, there's a places near em- embassies um private hospitals they don't experience none of that and like but but yeah that is the reality of it and it does not even um affect uh affect your online thing my 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 online programs will affect the business it it affects every business operation when i have to do my deliveries the way i have to do my deliveries it's offline due to load shading even if there isn't a load shading at that time the, the software is shut down i mean you can imagine the on and off thing obviously um you know these things get affected so where I am, uh, where I do my deliveries, go Pexi. It's Pexi. It's closed, guys. I think, uh, and that Pexi, it's it's a walking distance to me, and it's easier for me to make my deliveries. Um, uh, I I do have other alternatives, but it means that my it's gonna be more expensive to do my deliveries. It's yay, and the hike. We'll talk about that later on. Yo, Mara South Africa, Mara. But anyway, before I go off topic, <laughs> it means that um, there's there's gonna be more expenses, and I'm gonna have to charge my charge my 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 clientele more on delivery, amongst other things, due to that. So it's it's not only about not having power and not being affecting the business; it is affecting literally everything every operation things that are supposed to be smooth are no longer smooth the routine that i had beyond load shedding that okay i will take a two hour nap and then work at night i no longer have that so i i I need to change all of my structure and um been struggling i've been struggling to keep up because it changes from one stage to another they can be stayed six for the whole week and it means that it power goes off every four hours you know that that whole routine is just had such it died out and i yeah i'm surviving i'm just taking it day by day but without any waste of time let's welcome natasha moleko and she will be sharing with us how she is thriving because she's doing amazing in her space you can check out her uh, her, her instagram page uh at at um over ben africa natasha moleko and um uh, open and just google open and it will just appear we'll see how amazing she is doing and she's also facing her challenges yet she's doing great um so she will be telling us uh what challenges she's facing how she's overcoming them her experiences with load shedding and experience and yeah and some survival tips on how she's doing it hey we would love to know how she's doing it we can take a thing or two from her and you know we can copy it and you know uh, make use of it and see how we can we can survive all of this and you out there you must know that you're not the only one that is struggling we are all just having it hard so um welcome natasha on sometimes it's a mess and the stage is yours hi Lisa. thank you so much um i appreciate the opportunity to be on this platform um to vent because we are going through a lot we are going see a go sana and um yeah entrepreneurship is really one of the toughest journeys one could ever could ever go into so um yeah so when i started my business i started it um at a time where um our transformer had just blown and um, so I had to I had to make use of um, solar panels, and at that time I could only work between the hours of eight and five, and then by five o'clock it's beeping and there's no more sun and our batteries were not working well, so I had to I had to then knock off at five, and so as time went on, um, 
I sourced funding for my business and I managed to get a bigger solar system, um, which helped me a lot in terms of electricity. Um, it's been three years full. It's not electricity. So I work from home, so it's it's my business doesn't have electricity. So if I didn't have the solar system, um truly speaking, um load shedding electricity really affects a lot of businessing. Like it literally shuts your business down. And I understand what many businesses have closed doors because of it. Especially um Arona very small businesses. And um, the one thing I can say is, is just keep going. Just keep, like, no matter how hard it gets, it's going to get hard. And I know the name of the podcast is, is sometimes is a mess. Listen, it's always a mess. It's always a mess. Um, the reality of it is that it's always a mess. It's a, it's a beautiful mess, but it's always a mess. And, uh, man, we enjoy it. I, I enjoy what I do because I love what I do. I'm passionate about what I do. And when when the going gets tough, I I the tough get going, you know, because you just have to you just have to persevere and just and just get through it. Never give up. If I can give anybody advice about entrepreneurship and you know working, um, without electricity, I would say that, or any other challenges that you may be might be facing, I would say that just keep going. Don't give up. Um. And, and 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 learn and, and always harness your skills like always always enhance your skills um and you don't lag behind as soon as we're already ai is coming in and it's it's coming in really fast so we need to also be able to adjust to that and learn how to use ai and how to um implement it um into our business structures um those kind of things and and just you know what um yeah just just keep going just keep I, that's the one thing i can say just keep going because it does get tough and and that's the only thing that's kept me going is 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 my why yeah always know your why and always keep your why in your heart because that's the one thing that's going to push you yeah thank you you know just before we end the episode i just wanted to add a little bit on harnessing your skills you know in business well um in my experience you can never say you fully know um it's always about continuous learning and it's always about harnessing your skills um i think in life overall it's all about uh you learn and you unlearn and uh, you take in the things that are working for you and you leave out the ones that are not working for you, you know. You know, it's about improving your craftsmanship, improving your pitch deck, improving how you communicate your business. You know, it's it's just always about learning each and every day. So thank you so much, Natasha, for sharing your story. I hope we can learn a thing or two. Uh, this is it for the day. And thank you once again for tuning in on Sometimes It's a Mess. Don't forget to like, follow, subscribe, rate, and comment on Instagram, YouTube, Podbean on Sometimes It's a Mess. Until then, stay safe.